Following its highly successful premiere season in Auckland last year, the reworked production of Kororarika, The Ballad of Maggie Flynn, tours the selection of North Island centres from this Friday. This high-energy production stars five incredible wahine, and actor Amber Corrine is one of them. Welcome to the cafe. Thank you. Lovely to have you here. Now, last year we had on the show, was it Miriam McDowell mm. and Alison Bruce mm. talking about the show. Uh, you're new to it, aren't you? I am. So what's your take on the story? Oh, I love it. It's a rollicking tale. It's wonderful, it's a wonderful role to be able to have, to be part of a, a group of these wahine telling this lovely, big, rollicking tale about a really strong woman. Okay, so I must admit, the, the, the bit we just saw didn't look rollicking. Oh, it is, <laughs> I know, I know. It looks like it could be quite dramatic because, you know, it's history, it's, it's our history, and sometimes we can be a bit scared of our history and we think, oh, it's, you know, oh, what, what happened? And, yeah. But it's a, it's a fun, it's a jaunt, it's like a sea shanty. Excellent. So, we know, so it's a New Zealand story. New Zealand story. And Maggie Flynn, tell us about Maggie Flynn. Who do you play, by the way? Oh, I play, well, I play, I play a, um, a puhi, like a, a princess with an, in a par site. Oh, nice. I also play a Māori sailor, a, a Māori whale, um, on a whaling ship. Um, I play a Scotsman who's a bit gross. He's one of the, the moko um, mōkai traders, you know, the, the, of the shrunken heads. I play lots of different characters. We all do. Um, but so, so where does Maggie Flynn, because she sounds Irish to me. She is. So Maggie Flynn is a, not a real person, but okay. is an exceptional character. Oh, great. Yes, she, um, she left Ireland as a convict and then arrived in Kororareka in Russell, um, captaining a whaling ship. So she had this amazing journey, <laughs> but she's not based on anyone real. She's, she's an ode to the writer's grandmother. Nice. And um, she's like a, 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 an example for, her, for his daughter as well. But she's not an actual person. Not she's an actual person, but she brings together quite a few stories from, from real wahine, from real women of our time, of that time. Bit of an amalgamation. Yeah. So tell us about the cast and the production. There's, uh, there's five strong wahine. There Obviously are. you play a lot of characters mm. um, by all of you. You all play different things. Yes, we do. We all play different things. And so we've got Alison Bruce, who you had la here last year. Um, we have got Victoria Abbott. We have got Hine Rongonui Kingi and Katrina George. And they're all powerhouse women with all different gifts that they bring into the rehearsal room. That's saying, so Alison Bruce is the only original cast member? No, Alison no. Bruce, Katrina and Victoria. Oh, so it's only myself and Hene Rongonui who are new because um, the wonderful Miriama McDowell and Afina have had babies and so going off on tour is a bit hard when you've True. had babies. <laughs> yeah. And it's so, reworked, yeah. so what is reworked apart from the different cast members? What yeah, have you done? Well every time, because of the way that Red Leap is, um, they're a real hearty company and so every time there is a new, a new, new people come in, it's a new company, it's a right. new energy and so it's been reworked also to be quite a lot more intimate. You know, you've got this. This you are te we're telling this ballad, and so we've really played with s the simplicity of enjoying telling this story. Is it going to make us laugh? It is. It's going to make you laugh. We've got some fantastic characters and some fantastic things that you wouldn't necessarily always think are going to be quite funny. You know, like I don't know the the the, the prostitutes in the brothel in Kororareka. We had lots of fun with trying to you know own who these women would be. Um, and then there'll also be parts that are really quite heart-wrenching as well. Yeah. So yeah. Kororaki, uh, Kororaki Reka mm -hmm. is Russell originally, yes. isn't it? Yes. So are we going to learn about New Zealand history? Is it a history lesson? Well, you are, but you're learning about it through Maggie Flynn's lens. Oh, fun. You that know? sounds fun. So, yeah. you know, so it's not, you know, just our history. It's, it's a bit Forrest Gump. Okay. You know, in that oh, sense yeah, that, that imagine if, imagine if it was the an Irish... Um, owner of a brothel that actually suggested that this happen or that happen, you know? So so she's she's inserted into different parts of history. So you'll say, oh, I know about that. Nice. Or or you might say, oh, I don't know much about that. Maybe maybe I want to look into it more. Mm. So yeah. Well, you always do that, don't you? You always go and watch something and then if there's any sort of remote part that's real, you go and Google it. Yes, you do. <laughs> exactly. Do it with movies as well. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> I want people to go home and Google and go, oh, 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 that's what oh, that's what, oh, so you're all know? women in the cast, even though you're playing men as well. Yes. That's obviously a, a, a choice that's been made. Yeah, that was the director's choice, Julie Nolan. She is fantastic, and she um, she with the writer, you know, made the choice to have all women playing this, playing um, all of these characters, and women taking ownership of the story. They're a, a they're a woman-focused company, 
and they they want women to tell these this woman's story and so it's it's fantastic in the way that we do that and you know i mean last year i guess we we kind of mentioned about how the timing was good but the the timing again this year i mean mm. it just becomes more and more relevant it is, women it telling is these consistently stories consistently relevant yeah. women telling their stories Great. and the um, and the way that they've gone about um, Māori and Pākehā coming together and telling the story together is fantastic. It sounds very physical, Amber. It, it, it is. It must be a tiring show if it you're is. in it. Yeah. It is. We do this fun thing in the morning where we do really, really physical warm-ups and it's very, very exhausting. <laughs> I bet. Great. Shatters at the end so of the warm the gym. Which yeah, is good. Yeah, exactly. which is good. And, and it's red leaf, sorry. Yeah. Interrupt you there. No, I was mm. going to say, you're red leaf. That's what we were going to ask. Ten-year yeah. anniversary. Ten-year anniversary of red leaf. And it's, as a, as a, as a producer, because I'm a producer as well as an actor, and so speaking able to step into this company as an actor is a huge honour. They have made amazing work. Red Leap, they, they take make big brave works, really large scale brave, interesting works. So I'm really, really stoked to be, you know, to be part of their company. All right, and yeah. uh, you know the the works that you use are they written by men or written by yeah. women? Well, this one is written by Paolo Rotondo. This is written oh, by yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's fantastic. He he's a he's a stunning, stunning writer. Mm. Yeah, stunning creator. What a creative. great company! What a great yeah. show! So, what do you want people to take away from it? Um, I want people to apart from to Google, obviously. Apart from to Google, <laughs> to Google and go, what actually did happen? No, I would like people to take away from the story. I'd like them to think. I wonder what spectacular things some of my female ancestors have done. What did my great grandmother do? Hmm, I'm interested, you know? Brilliant. That's yeah, that's what that's I'd like. That's great. I like that. I really like that. Yeah. Well thank you for joining us today. Thank you. For Sounds cool. Me. We sold it well.